In this video, we're going to be multiplying decimals by two digit numbers. Here is a calculation. Here is a calculation. 12 multiplied by 4.7. To work this out, we're going to do some long multiplication. It's really important to line the numbers up correctly. Initially, we ignore the decimal point and treat it as if it was a whole number. So 12 multiplied by 47. 7 times 2 is 14. We carry the 1 below in the tens column as it represents 110. Then we multiply 7 by 110. 7 times 1 is 7. We need to add the 110 below. So 7 add 1 is 8. Next we need to multiply 4 tens by 2. As we're multiplying by number in the tens column, we need to use 0 as a placeholder in the ones column. So 4 times 2 is 8. Then we multiply 4 tens by 110. 4 times 1 is 4. The next step is to add the two answers together. So 4 add 0 is 4. 8 add 8 is 16. We carry the 1 below in the hundreds column as it represents 100. Then 4 add 1 is 5. We need to place the decimal point in the answer. To do this, we count the number of decimal places in the factors. 4.7 has one digit after the decimal point. So we need to ensure that there is one digit after the decimal point in our answer. So the answer is 56.4. So let me explain what we did with the decimal points. We started with 12 multiplied by 4.7. We multiplied 4.7 by 10. So 12 times 47 was 564. As we had previously multiplied 4.7 by 10, we need to do the inverse to the answer. The inverse of multiply is divide. So 564 divided by 10, which is 56.4. Here's another example, 34 multiplied by 2.06, remember we need to line the numbers up correctly. Initially we ignore the decimal point and treat it as if it was a whole number. So 34 multiplied by 206. So we start with 4 times 6 which is 24. We carry the 2 below in the tens column as it represents 2 tens. Then we multiply 4 by 0 tens. 4 times 0 is 0, but we need to add the 2 tens below. So 0 add 2 is 2. Next, we need to multiply 4 by 2 hundreds. 4 times 2 is 8. Next, we need to multiply 3 tens by 6. As we're multiplying the number in the tens column, we need to use 0 as a placeholder in the ones column. So 3 times 6 is 18. We carry the 1 below in the hundreds column as it represents 100. Next is 3 tens multiplied by 0 tens. 3 times 0 is 0. We need to add the 100 below. So 0 add 1 is 1. Next we multiply 3 tens by 2 hundreds. So 3 times 2 is 6. The next step is to add the two answers together. So 4 add 0 is 4, 2 add 8 is 10, 
we can carry the 1 down in the hundreds column. 8 add 1 add 1 is 10. We can carry the 1 down in the thousands column. And finally, 6 add 1 is 7. We need to place the decimal point in the answer. To do this, we count the number of decimal places in the factors. 2.06 has two digits after the decimal point. So we need to ensure that there are two digits after the decimal point in our answer. So the answer is 70.04. So let me explain what we did with the decimal points. We started with 34 multiplied by 2.06. We multiplied 2.06 by 100. So then we had 34 multiplied by 206, which was 7004. Now as we had previously multiplied 2.06 by 100, we now need to do the inverse to the answer. The inverse of multiply is divide. So we divided 7004 by 100 to get the answer 70.04. Now it's your turn. Here is a calculation. 26 multiplied by 7.4. Which of these answers is the correct answer? Let me know your answer in the comment section. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. Here's another challenge. 41 multiplied by 1.93. Which of these answers is the correct answer? Let me know your answer in the comment section. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. 16 multiplied by 1.058 Which of these answers is the correct answer? Let me know your answer in the comment section. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done.